Um, but here is the Staley Bridge Celtic side, chosen by Peter Rag. He was hoping to bring Paul Clayton, the former Norwich City player, back into the side tonight. He missed Saturday's victory over Stevenage uh, because of flu. But he's decided to leave him on the bench, and that means Robert Jackson, who got the winning goal on Saturday, starts the game tonight in the number seven shirt. Bromsgrove, uh, plenty of experience there in the form of Alan Judge, the former Luton and Reading goalkeeper. Jimmy Skelding, of course, who uh, scored on Sportswire last year when we featured Bromsgrove at the Kidderminster Harriers. And their top goal scorer, Recky Carter, 15 goals already this season. But a couple of new names you will never have heard, I'm sure, of Fergus Dowling, who's a young Irish boy who's done well in the reserves. It's his debut. And Andy Marlow at number eight was a, a YTS boy at Tottenham Hotspur until two weeks ago. Referee tonight uh, is from Bootle. He's on the Football League list. That's George Kane. Comes not far from you, Brian. No, that's right. I know George very well. Um, and uh, he is a good referee. A man with a good sense of humour. Well, here is uh, the record signing last week from uh, Staley, uh, Staley Bridge Celtic from Witten Albion, Brendan Burke. Uh, the fee uh, reported at uh, £10,000. And uh, Brendan Burke's got quite a few goals and quite a good reputation, Brian. Yeah, Brendan is... Um, he came through the ranks of the uh, Northern Premier League and um, Brendan, was, Brendan was at Witten not so long ago and the Stady Bridge have played a record fee for him. Uh, I'm sure he'll be a great asset to their team. Staley Bridge, as you can see, will be in the uh, blue and white quarters. And let's have a look at number 10 on the Bromsgrove side. That is Recky Carter. He is the man uh, who's got 15 goals already this season. They signed him from Solihull. And I think you've got a very high opinion of him, Brian. Yes, Recky, uh, we've played against Recky um, a, a few times. And Recky is, again, he's another tremendous player. Um, there are a lot of league clubs after him. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing him tonight. Two hat-tricks already this season, one against Yeovil and one in this competition at Stafford Rangers. Now, the pitch is very wet. It doesn't need me to tell you that. You can probably see that it's a bit squelchy. And I know uh, one or two officials were a little concerned here. Um, in fact, the groundsman, I don't think, can bear to see his pitch dug up as it's probably going to be. They've got uh, some important fixtures coming up around about the Christmas period. Gateshead are uh, due here next week and then Macclesfield come on uh, the 2nd of January. Kidderminster also here on the last day of 1994. So Staley Bridge will kick off this Bob Lord quarter-final against Bromsgrove Rovers. The winners to go through to meet the winner of tonight's other game between Macclesfield and Altrincham. Bromsgrove in red tonight. The last time I saw them they were in green and white stripes. And the ball worked down that left-hand touchline, flicked in by Carter, and some solid work in defence uh, by Ian Patterson, who's on loan from Wigan, and uh, the ball has got through for Staley Bridge, and there might be an early goal. Good strike as well. And the uh, ball going just wide from Jackson. Jackson and Megson were both up there, but it was Jackson's shot and didn't miss by a lot, Brian. No, it didn't. I mean, there was a little bit of a mistake there by, by the Bromsgrove player. Maybe he was a little bit sleep after the long journey, but uh, it was a good strike. They've got this wonderful record at home, uh, Staley Bridge. Eight consecutive victories here. And they've scored in every single home game this season, and they almost maintain the record immediately. Here come Bromsgrove. Carter might get in. And brave goalkeeping. Very good effort indeed, uh, by the goalkeeper Russ Hughes to spread himself there in front of Recky Carter and a very sprightly beginning to the match. Well, I think both teams must be feeling the cold a little bit because um, there seems to be uh, defensive mistakes at both ends early on and, um, well, I mean, the goalkeeper did well in the end. Russ Hughes firing it up over the halfway line but it comes straight back for Bromsgrove and then a bit of a wayward pass the ball's going to hold up a little bit on this surface in certain areas reversed by Paul Wheeler And a good immediate throw-in taken to uh, win a corner here. It was 
Fergus Dowling, this Irish boy, who got it well there. And Tony Grealish, who's an Irishman himself, of course, of course, was speaking very highly about him yesterday. Thinks he can really make the grade, this boy. Bromsgrove have the first corner, and uh, I did hear some chanting down there from Rovers fans who've made the journey from Worcestershire. And the corner it is there for Bromsgrove. Brendan Burke with the chance to clear. Well, that's got to be a foul by Humphrey. And Jackson. Well, George Kane's one of those referees you wouldn't argue with. Physically a big man. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think we should do things like that when George is refereeing. Three minutes played, Staley Bridge nil, Bromsgrove nil. Well, again, he found difficulty getting distance. But, uh, that's a very sloppy ball forward. I don't know who on earth knew Glasser was hoping to find with that one. Youngster who didn't quite make it at football league level with Notts County. So he's moved down to the Vauxhall. Just had a calf injury. He's back in the fold tonight. They've got a horrendous injury list of Bromsgrove. More of that in a moment. Nice little touch back by Paul Wheeler. Lee Cotup allowing the ball to run out. And then turned back by Burke. It's a well directed pass. And here goes Cotup now. Plenty of uh, purpose in that run, and here goes Burke. Looking for the early goal, and it just eluded Cota on the charge, and it affords the opportunity for Bromsgrove to break. And here goes Recky Carter. <laughs> Held it up nicely, and then Glasser swings one in, and it's come back here to Carter, and the ball spinning away off the instep of Recky Carter, and out for the goal kick. Decent ball in, and uh, if Carter's first touch had been better there, they could have been in trouble. There they are, the visiting supporters just letting us know they're here. Uh, just a little bit of a slip there by Andy Power, one of those who is returning to the team tonight after knee ligament trouble. And uh, Tony Grealish, happy to have him back, I imagine, as well, with the list of injuries that uh, I will catalogue for you in a moment. And this ball has gone out of play. But Bromsgrove moving forward nicely again with Andy Marlow. It's Patterson who cut it out. And uh, headed away into touch for the throw in for the home side Staley Bridge Celtic. Here's Kevin Megson, former Bradford City player. Floats one across and uh, Alan Judge there taking it quite capably. Vastly experienced goalkeeper Alan Judge. And the ball uh, put out. But that to a Bromsgrove injury list that includes Kevin Richardson, who's a dominant figure for the Missouri. He's got a knee injury. Stuart Brighton just recovering from a broken leg. Chris Pierce out with knee trouble. A.D. Smith and Colin Radburn, Achilles problems. Simon Brain, uh, who unfortunately broke a leg in about his second game recently. Robert Shilvock, Nicky Clark and Simon Berger all missing. That's an entire team. And they're on the defensive now. Um, very good defensive work by Gray. The ball just plopped into uh, one of the uh, heavier areas of the ground there. Good tackle by Patterson. And then it's from Burke to Megson. And that might be overhit. 
across the post, Brian. Uh, you've got to keep plugging away tonight in the belief that the ball might just hold up in certain areas of the pitch. Yeah, that's right. I mean, the pitch is uh, obviously going to cut up because of the heavy rain that we've had today. But uh, so far, it hasn't been too bad. But uh, if I was a forward, I would keep going, as you said, and just in the hope that it will hold up and we'll get a chance to get a goal. Seven minutes played. It's Staley Bridge Celtic nil, Bromsgrove Rovers nil. Headed on there by Gary Barres. And now Cota, the left back. Seems uh, eager to get forward Cota tonight, but uh, now has to try and win an aerial battle, which he does very well. Bromsgrove playing some neat one touch football here. Humphrey's pass intercepted. And away they come, Staley Bridge first of all with Barres. Now with Megson. That's a fair sliding challenge to win the ball for Bromsgrove. And the ball is played over the top here. And he's onside. This is a chance for Carter. One on one inside the penalty area. Still he's there. Doesn't lose possession. Did well. Nicks it in. It's not going to go very far, and there will be a long-range shot easily barged down. Now John Ryan. Coat up. That's Ryan on his outside. Inside him is Barres. And wide to Neil Edmonds. 